In everyday English, we use many expressions that come from movies and television. These popular idioms are a very good way of showing that you are familiar with the way English people speak. They allow you to show humor and personality, and they are very useful to talk about very specific situations. In this section, we will see the following movie TV idioms. Go ahead, make my day, from Clint Eastwood. I'm the king of the world, from the movie Titanic. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore, from The Wizard of Oz. The first rule of Fight Club is that you do not talk about Fight Club, from the movie Fight Club. And finally, the expression, yada yada yada, from the TV show Seinfeld. Go ahead, make my day. Go ahead, make my day is a way of telling someone that you are not afraid of them, you are willing to fight with them, and you will beat them. In everyday speech, it is usually used humorously. Sometimes you are having a very good day, or you have accomplished something great. In that case, you are the king of the world, just like James Cameron when he won the Academy Award for Titanic. Mom, Dad, there's no way that I can express to you what I'm feeling right now. My heart is full to bursting, except to say, I'm the king of the world! Kansas anymore. When you are in a completely new situation that is unlike anything you are familiar with, a new city, a new place, a new job, then you are not in Kansas anymore. Even in The Matrix, they mention Kansas. What does that mean? It means buckle your seatbelt, Dorothy, because Kansas is going bye-bye. <laughs> Every week, Tyler gave the rules that he and I decided. Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. Second rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. This expression is used when I want to keep something secret. If I am in a meeting and I say, Remember the first rule of Fight Club. Everyone will understand that they should not talk about Fight Club. So, I'm on 3rd Avenue, minding my own business, and yada yada yada. I get a free massage and a facial. What a succinct story. <laughs> I'm surprised you drive a Cadillac. Oh, it's not mine. It's my mother's. Are you close with your parents? Well, they gave birth to me, and yada, yada. Yada what? Yada, yada, yada. Engaged to be married. Uh, we bought the wedding invitations, and uh, yada, yada, yada. I'm still single. <laughs> so what's she doing now? Yada. <laughs> so speaking of exes, mm. my old boyfriend came over late last night, and yada, yada, yada. Anyway, I'm really tired today. Listen to this. Marcy comes over and she tells me that her ex-boyfriend was over late last night and yada, 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 I'm really tired today. <laughs> you don't think she'd yada, yada sex? I've yada, yada sex. Really? Yeah. 
I met this lawyer. We went out to dinner. I had the lobster bisque. We went back to my place. Yada, yada, yada. I never heard from him again. But you yada, yada over the best part. No, I mentioned the bisque. When there is information that is embarrassing or unimportant, and I just want to ignore it, I will use the expression yada, yada, yada. If I don't want to talk about being fired, for example, I might say, I just met with my manager and yada, 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 I'm looking for a new job. So, now we have ways of being tough, go ahead, make my day. We have ways of being happy, I'm the king of the world. We have ways of expressing confusion, Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. I have a way of saying something is a secret. Remember, the first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. And we have ways of just skipping information. Yada, yada, yada. Try to use these as much as you can and try to listen for them when other people use them.